Yo, Rodriguez, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it going. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. I gotta project more, right? <laughs> so, the first guy was a teacher. I'm a teacher too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. The next guy spoke Spanish. I speak Spanish. Yeah! And I teach Spanish. So, I'll put it all together. <laughs> And uh, in high school, I wasn't very athletic. I was on the chess team, and our cheerleaders were mimes. So I had experience with mimes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so I have three names, you know. Don't have a lot of money, but I have three names. And I got that going for me, you know. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm usually broke. A lot of people don't realize it because I'm asymptomatic, you know? <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, one time I was a victim of identity theft, and my credit score went up, you know? Yeah, I was able to get that car loan, you know? No, but I'm married, and I'm, I'm, we get along very well, and we're, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm doing a lot better now because I'm married. My wife makes more money than me, so we're happy together, you know. And we figured it out that uh, if we wanted to, we could afford to get divorced, you know. But instead, we go on vacations, you know. So we, we do have fun, yeah. So. And then, uh, all we have dog hairs all over me. We just adopted a rescue, you know. So. So that's my first rescue adoption. My wife's second. She says I was her first, you know. <laughs> so, so yeah. And so we went to Paws, Chicago, and we both agreed, no pit bulls, no chihuahuas, right? <laughs> so right, I mean and so we got this dog Earl. His name was Earl, and we kept the name because I had previously had a dog named Duke, King, Queenie, so we had royalty. So Earl was the name, right? So, so <laughs> my wife had the DNA done on him, and it turns out he's half pit bull, half chihuahua. <laughs> you know, but but he's a good dog, so we like him. But then my wife decided to send us to obedience school, you know, and I think it was more for me than for Earl, you know. But we did learn a lot of good commands, like. Sit, stay, paw, you know, and after about six weeks, even my wife will tell you that I am now a very good boy. You know? so, so, yeah. So, but this dog, he, he looks like a chihuahua on steroids, you know? So, uh, I was thinking, of, I should have him audition for the, one of those Marvel movies, you know? Maybe you could partner up with the raccoon, you know? So, but, but it's great having a dog, because I get a lot of exercise, you know? And I walk around, and... I mean, I, I met all kinds, of, I met Maxie, and Louie, and Jenny, those were just the dogs, you know. I don't remember the owner's names, but you know, so, but it's kind of fun, you know. And, oh, and then the other day it was really hot, and before my wife leaves the house, she says, and turn up, don't, it's going to be really hot today, so turn up the air conditioner. I said, oh, I can handle the heat. She said, no, not for you, for Earl. You know, she was worried about Earl, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so but I teach Spanish and but not not in high school, so I don't have to deal with the kids. <laughs> I teach in college, so, so they're all adults. I don't have to deal with the parents. But, but I like to ask the student, why why did you pick Spanish? You know, you could have picked other languages. And, and one student told me, oh, Spanish is a very beautiful language, right? Another student told me, oh, my girlfriend's family speaks Spanish. Another one told me. Oh, I'm Mexican and I can't speak Spanish. You know, so, so. And, and another student says, well, at the restaurant where I work, all the cooks speak Spanish, right? Yeah, what a surprise, right? And so, so and I'm like, where do you work? And he says, a Chinese restaurant. You know? <laughs> and, and after about the fifth week of the semester, he's asking me, what kind of Spanish are you teaching? Because I still don't understand what the cooks are telling me. <laughs> And I said, well, what are they telling you? And he tells me, it's like, oh, they're swearing at you. <laughs> they want you to work harder. You're not working hard enough, you know? So, yeah. And 
I don't, I don't have any tattoos, you know. I have children to remind me of my terrible choices. You know? <laughs> so, for example, they say, Dad, you majored in Spanish. Why'd you, no, you speak Spanish. Why'd you major in Spanish? You know? so, and, well, but I also majored in English. So I speak English. You know? So I did a double major. But, so, the other day, my coffee maker broke. Yeah, I know, isn't that terrible? <laughs> you know? And uh, it's like, I, I usually buy everything during Amazon, but I couldn't wait for the next day delivery. So, so I go to Walmart, and I made the mistake of wearing a blue polo shirt. You know? And well, I'm checking out the coffee makers, and this elderly woman is asking me questions about the coffee makers. <laughs> and I had done my research, so I was able to point out all the different features, you know. So she finally picks one out, I put it in her card, and then just then two Walmart employees come up to me, and I'm like, uh oh. And they tell me, hey, it's break time. <laughs> oh, okay. So I go to the break room, I have a cup of coffee, and to make a long story short, on Sunday I'm subbing for Sheila. So, so <laughs> all right. How much time do I have left? Oh, I can keep going? All right, you want me to say, I can do whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, all right, uh, okay, I don't know. Let's see, what else can I talk about? So, oh yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm happy to be here because uh, I'm married with children and I really enjoy being able to speak for five minutes uninterrupted. <laughs> so, I'm not allowed to speak at home, you know? so, so I got an Alexa. You know? so I, I, Alexa listens to me, you know? but sometimes, well the other day I said, Alexa, play some coffee house music. And she says, regular or decaf? You know? And my wife comes running in and is like, I hear you talking to your girlfriend. Oh, no, it's Alexa, you know, look, she's playing decaffeinated music, you know, and uh, now I'm really worried because I'm afraid she's going to find out about my other two girlfriends, Siri and Corten, you know, so, uh, yeah. so, yeah, yeah, the other day my, we ran out of milk, my, my wife says, uh, go buy some milk, I said, okay, I'll go to Speedway gas station, buy a gallon of milk, she's like, no, no, no. Go to Trader Joe's, buy organic milk, and while you're there, get some Himalayan salt and some sunflower seeds. I'm like, all right, sure, whatever, you know? I go to Trader Joe's, and I see this woman fondling the cucumbers, but, but I look at her hand, and she has this ring, and I can't tell what it is. It's either like a flower or a taco, and she can't just be staring at it, you know, and she says, I see you staring at my vagina ring, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and it looked very realistic because she had hairy knuckles, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I shouldn't have said anything, but I, but I asked her, is that actual size? You know? <laughs> well, I'm no longer allowed in Trader Joe's. <laughs> so, so uh, but now I know what I'm getting my wife for her birthday. So. Okay, that's it. That's my kind of <laughs> Diego Rodriguez.